Hi, Terrence. Hi, Miss Kelly. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm outside in the sunshine. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Being outside in the sunshine and getting some exercise is really, really important right now. Oh, yeah. I like it. It, 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 it makes me happy. Yes, and you know what those happy chemicals are called? What? They're called endorphins. Oh, Miss Kelly, you always teach me the best words. <laughs> endorphins. Exactly. Is, is, that, is that what's like on dolphins? Oh, no. Uh, that's dorsal fins. Those things are oh. very, very different. Endorphins are chemicals in our body that help to make us happy. And things like exercising help to create those. And oh, like the fins. buckets, like the buckets, Miss Kelly. Yeah, exactly. Um, and dorsal fins are things that um, dolphins have as part of their bodies. Oh, so one is on the inside and the other is on the outside. Exactly. <laughs> well, I called you today um, yeah. because I thought maybe last week we talked about filling buckets and how it how it made you so happy. And yeah. this week, um, well, you just mentioned that being outside created endorphins. Well, maybe yeah. if I told you another story, it um, might help to create some endorphins, some happy people. Oh, okay. I would love that. Your stories always make me happy, Miss Kelly. Awesome. Well, how about if I tell you another classic fairy tale? Okay. All right. So this, the name of this story is The Three Little Pigs. Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> so once upon a time there yeah. was a mother pig and oh. she had three baby pigs oh and they were a family they were a family and oh. when the three pigs grew up and it was time for them to go out and seek their fortunes yeah the pig told them that they should go but they should always beware of the big bad wolf Ooh, a wolf, a scary wolf. Very scary wolf, because wolves love more than anything to eat little pigs. Oh, good. I think they probably like pigs even more than birds. I think you might be right, Terrence. So, off those three little pigs went to seek their fortunes. Oh, uh, um, they, they must not have a virus where they live. No, I do not think they do. Well, pretty soon, that first little pig came upon a man selling straw. And he decided that he would build his house of straw. Straw? Mm-hmm. Now, the second little pig, he came upon a man selling sticks. And oh. he decided he would, sell, he would build his house of sticks. Oh, that's like wood. It is. And the third little pig, being the smartest of the three, decided that he would build his house of bricks. So he found a man selling bricks. And he bought enough bricks to build his house. Oh. Now, the first and second little pig finished their houses very quickly. Oh. And the third little pig was still working on his. And they asked their brother, brother, why are you spending so much time on your house? Why not just finish it and then come play with us? I like to play, Miss Kelly. Well, that third little that pig third little cautioned his brothers. He said, pretty soon that big bad wolf will come for us and I want to be prepared. So the first and second little pig continued to dance and sing and play. Well, that third little pig worked on his house. Oh, it did? Mm-hmm. But one day, very yeah. soon after, yeah, there came a knock at that first little pig's door. Knock, knock. Yeah. Oh, no. And who do you think it was? Not the wolf. It was the big, bad wolf. <gasps> Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the big bad wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the first little pig. Pigs have hair? <laughs> they do, on their chinny chin chins. Okay. <laughs> then I'll huff and I'll puff 
and oh. I'll blow your house down to the big battle. Oh. So he huffed yeah. and he puffed oh. and he blew that house of straw right down. Oh. Oh. So the first little pig jumped up and ran as fast as he could to the second oh. little pig's house. Oh. Knock, knock, knock. Brother, brother, let me in. There's a big bed wolf after me. Of course, the second one. What? Did he let him in? Of course he did. He opened the door. Sometimes my brother doesn't let me in his room. (laughs) Well, I think that's because it's not a life or death situation, Taryn. Yeah, usually I just want his crayons. (laughs) I think that if it were a life or death situation, your brother would probably let you in his room. Yeah, I guess so, Miss Kelly. (laughs) So the second little pig let his brother into the house and they shut the door fast. Oh, that's good. No sooner had they gotten that door shut than came a knock at the door. Knock, knock. Oh, no. (laughs) It was. Little pigs. Let me come in. Oh, no. It was the big bad Oh. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chin. Oh. The two little pigs. Then I'll huff oh. and I'll puff and oh. I'll blow your house down, said the big bad wolf. Oh. Terrence, are you okay? Yeah, I was just, the wind was so strong. <laughs> so he huffed yeah. and he puffed. Oh. And he blew that second little house of sticks right down. <laughs> Those two little pigs jumped up and they ran right to their third brother's house. Brother, oh, brother. the one made of bricks. Yes, the one made of bricks. Brother, brother, let us in. There's a wolf after us, they said. <gasps> so that brother opened his door and let his brothers in. And no sooner had they gotten that door shut than a knock came at the door. Oh, no. It was... The big, a big, bad, bad wolf. wolf. Little pigs, little pigs, let yeah. me come in. Don't do it! Don't do it, pigs! Said the big bad wolf. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chin. Said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down said the wolf. Oh. And did he do it, Miss Kelly? So he huffed, yeah. and he puffed, oh. and he huffed, and he puffed, yeah. and he huffed, oh. and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. But try as he could, he could not blow that house of bricks down. Oh my gosh, because it was so strong. You're right, that third little pig had done a great job building his house. Well, that wolf, you can imagine, was very angry. So he decided that he would try and trick the three little pigs. So he went off and found a sheep costume. And he dressed up as a sheep. And he put himself in a little basket. And he knocked on the door and he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Don't do it, pigs. He's not a sheep. Well, those pigs peeked out their window and they yeah. saw that wolf's tail and knew that it was a trick. Oh, whew. So they did not let him in. Not oh, by the hair on yeah. our chinny chin chin. <laughs> the three little pigs. Now that wolf was so angry that he decided yeah. he was getting in that house no matter what. So he decided he would climb. Now he climbed up the side of the house. Oh, and those no. pigs heard him climbing. So that third little pig lit a fire in the fireplace. Oh, and no. I know. Then he was on the roof. Yeah. And he slid down the chimney. Oh. Right onto the fire those pigs had lit. Oh. He lit his tail on fire. He went out of the chimney and down the road with his tail on fire and he was never ever heard from again. 
Oh, so the pigs were safe. The pigs were safe because... Oh, that's so great, Miss Kelly. The pigs were safe because they stayed with their family all together in that brick house. You are right. The pigs were safe because they stayed all together with their family in the brick house. Oh, Miss Kelly, I just love your stories. <laughs> they make me feel so much better. I'm so glad you like my sto stories, Terrence, and it oh. was so nice to see you today. Oh my goodness, Miss Kelly, I have to go. The, my brothers, they're eating all the berries, and, well, and better, I want one. Oh yeah, you better go. I don't want you to miss out on berries, Terrence. It was so nice to see you. Good to see you too, Miss Kelly. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.